Hey everybody, so this video is all about genes and genomes, which is probably the most important part of genetics. And it's the name, it's the, it's the thing that gives genetics its name. So genes, firstly, at their most simple level, a gene is just one segment of a DNA strand. So you can see here, here's a long DNA strand as part of a chromosome. And a gene is just this segment here of pink DNA. So it's a segment of DNA, but more importantly than that, because DNA has the genetic code in it, a gene is carrying information. So we've got our genetic code, and the information that genes are carrying is the instructions for how the cell makes a particular protein. So we'll add to our definition of a gene, it's a segment of DNA that contains the coded instructions. So it's got the instructions written in the genetic code. For making a protein. So the best analogy I like to use is that a gene is like the recipe for making a cake. The gene is like the recipe that you read, and the protein is like the cake that gets made in the end. So, all that information on your chromosomes is a whole lot of recipes for making all the different proteins that a cell needs to grow and survive and function. The next concept, if we zoom out at the whole level of an organism, is the genome. So you might have heard of a genome before, and it's just all the genetic information that's found in one particular species. So that includes the genes, but it also includes all the parts of the DNA that don't contain a gene, but are still important. And that's called the non-coding region. Because um, each DNA strand is not made of continuous genes, there's actually lots and lots of bases in between that aren't a gene but are still important or um, are there as a relic of that organism and don't, don't really do much. So you might have heard of the Human Genome Project. Um, back in 2003, the Human Genome Project was finally finished. And it was a scientific project run by hundreds and hundreds of scientists across the world. I think it took at least 10 years. And it was involved in figuring out what is the entire genetic code in humans. And one of the first things they discovered was that there's 3.2 billion bases in our genome, which means every one of our cells in our 46 chromosomes, it contains 3.2 billion base pairs of code, and um, we've actually discovered what that code is. Uh, and that's led us to figure out a lot of genetic diseases, and it's helped us to understand so much more about how genetics works. Um, there's also been lots more species genomes 
sequenced as well. Um, this one is actually um, the coronavirus genome. So the virus is called SARS-CoV-2, and that's what causes COVID. Um, and pretty soon after the virus was discovered, scientists were able to sequence that genome and figure out where the genes are. And hopefully that's helping us to find a vaccine or a cure. Um, here's another genome, and this is organized in a format called a genome map, which is basically a visual representation of all the genes found along each chromosome in a species. I think this one's a bacteria species, and each of these coloured rectangles here is representing a particular gene. And then it tells you what that gene, um, which protein that gene codes for. So you don't need to memorise any of that, but it's getting you to see how complex genomes are um, and how different they are between different species. So the human one is 3.2 billion bases long. The coronavirus genome is a much, much smaller. You can actually read this. Um, well, you can fit all that information on one page there. So that is the concepts of genes and genomes.